what's up everybody so today i decided to do a video i did a video yesterday but tomorrow was supposed to rain and that's when i initially wanted to do the video so i'm just gonna do it today instead today we're gonna go to clark's reservation it's in jamesville new york so last video i didn't really introduce myself so my name is angel i do live in upstate new york and I like to travel, you know, I like hiking, I like traveling places. I, I lived in Florida for a couple months before I ended up moving back because of the coronavirus. Yeah, so that's just like a little bit about myself. I'm still in college. I move into college in around three weeks and I was thinking about doing a video of when I move in. So just let me know if you guys would want to see that. But today we're going to be going to Clark's Reservation in Janesville, New York. It's a really nice hiking area i've been there before the view is is amazing and i think this one is going to be a good one i'm going to try and get more footage of like the views and the area surrounding some animals because i know there's snakes there because i've been there one time before with a friend of mine and me and her both encountered a couple snakes so uh, we'll see if we could get some footage of that but right now I'll probably head to the store and get some, you know, waters and stuff. I think I have some in the trunk. I'll have to see. I'll see you guys when I get to Clark's reservation. Before I go, gotta get some gas real quick. We at the gas station. About to pump my gas, but fill her up, boy. Let's get started on this trip. It's only like a 20 minute trip, but let's get it. So I made it to Clark's reservation. It took me about 15 minutes. As you can see in the video, it's mostly just city driving for me anyways. Yeah, Clark's reservation is in Janesville, New York. And I'm not gonna talk too much because I already did that in my intro. And without further ado, let's get into it. So I got my mask on this time because there's like a lot of people at this one. But the good thing I like about these trails is that on the trees, they have like color coding on it. And I'll show you right now because I'm coming up to a tree that has it. That basically shows you where or what trail you're actually on, which is cool. So you know that you're staying on the right trail. So this one right here, you can see that? That lets me know that I'm still on the same trail that I started on which is good, I like that a lot. So with this one, I can definitely say this one is more of a challenge 
than Pratt's Falls that I went to yesterday. This is, has definitely has way more climbing, more going down, a lot of rocks. Be a short. I would recommend you come with someone so that they can like help you get down because some of these steps are like really high. So you really gotta lift your leg up. But this overall, so far I'm only on the blue trail right now. I'm loving it. I'm getting a good workout. And I'm breathing heavy. So of course Clark's reservation, I would always recommend this this hike. If you're really looking for a hike, a challenging hike, then I would definitely say Clark's reservation isn't too much of a challenge, but definitely gets your heart bumping. Definitely gets you starting to breathe more. So yeah, let me give y'all more footage of how this is looking because I'm on another trail now. I'm almost not really almost I'm like halfway done with the blue trail and I just got to show you guys this view look at that can't really see it because I like all these trees but it looks like you're like on top of a mountain right now like just look at it it's beautiful <sighs> so happy I chose this place today Okay guys, so I, literally as I'm walking by and I'm, I'm coming by a, a dude and there's two kids <laughs> and he literally tells me like, have you seen a rattlesnake? And I'm like, no, have you guys? And literally he pulls out his phone and he shows me a picture of a rattlesnake inside one of these cracks. So if you're not a big fan of snakes, I would advise you to not come here because from past experiences, like I said in the, in the intro, I've seen some snakes here. Um, I'm not too worried about snakes, but it was a rattlesnake. So I'm just like, ooh, I'm not looking at no damn cracks. But still, it's a really nice place to come if you're not afraid of snakes or animals in general. But I know they, they, they be creeping around here. They definitely do. Um, but let's keep going. I'm still on the blue trail. I wasn't even halfway done with it. I thought I was, but I'm still on the blue trail. You look at this still on the blue trail well let's keep going Just a disclaimer, I just want to tell you guys this. If you're ever hiking, I would always advise you to go with someone, especially in something like this, because like that's a far drop. And if anything happens, you know, your foot slips and you end up falling and no one is really there, what's gonna happen? So I just wanted to throw this disclaimer out. I come by myself a lot because I know a lot of these trails. So I know where to go. And if I were to anything to happen to me, I know exactly wh what to do. So just throwing that disclaimer out there, if you guys come out here, just try and come with a friend, family member, something. Make sure you always have water, some snacks, your phone or a phone, doesn't matter. Just something that can make calls to in case of an emergency. So I just wanted to throw that in there for you guys. So I just finished the blue trail and I'm taking the trail back to the parking lot now. I know there's like two other trails here. I'm not gonna do them today because again, I don't feel too good. I wanted to just, you know, come 
give you guys a review because I've already been here before and I know how it is. So I will see you guys when I get back to my car to give you my honest review. <sighs> that drained me, okay? That drained me. I'm not feeling too good today. So that took the wind out of me, but you know, stay hydrated and you'll be all right. So my honest review of Clark's Reservation in Janesville, New York is I give it an eight out of 10. Eight out of 10. The reason for this is because the views and just how high you are and how you can overlook the little lake that's on the bottom. You can see the, the sky. You can see the light flowing through from the trees. It's just like everything that you would want from nature. You know, and the reason why I'm only giving it an 8 out of 10 and not higher is because when I go on hikes, I love when there's somewhere to swim. When there's cliffs to jump off of, bridge jumping, you know, I'm, I'm just that adventurous. So I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 because the views are insane. It's a pretty difficult hike if you're shorter or older but you can do it it's it's really nice and i'm glad really glad that i chose this hike today and especially for the distance for me it's a it's a really good go here every weekend type of shenanigan for me but this is definitely not the last place we're going. I have a bunch of other ideas, a bunch of other places where I want to go. So we're going to see how the weather holds up, how I'm feeling in a couple of days. And I think I want to take you guys to one of my favorite spots in upstate New York. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, Leave a like, subscribe, comment, any place that you want me to go. Like I said, it doesn't really matter. I would go almost anywhere. Um, I don't want this outro to be too long like yesterday. So without further ado, stay safe, stay hydrated, and I'll see you guys in the next video.